Hello, this is Dr. Oviedo. Today I want to review the pictures from a COVID-19 autopsy. This paper was published in the Lancet Respiratory Medicine on February 17, 2020. Here are the pictures from the journal article. COVID-19 is a new disease. It is critical to do these post-mortem autopsies in order to learn exactly how the SARS-CoV-2 virus causes disease in patients. SARS-CoV-2 is the name of the coronavirus that causes this new disease called COVID-19. Even though modern medicine can tell us a lot with studies done on blood and radiology studies done on sick patients, autopsies give a lot more details of exactly how the virus is causing disease in the tissues and if the patient has another superimposed disease that may have caused them to die. We can use this knowledge to better treat patients in the future. I want to say that I have extraordinary respect for the people that have done these studies. I can tell you that when I have done autopsies on people who died from H1N1 in the past, it can be pretty nerve-wracking to do an autopsy on someone who died of an infectious disease. Even though we wear all sorts of protective equipment, it is still possible to puncture your gloves with a needle or scalpel and infect yourself. It is a big responsibility to do these autopsies and expose yourself and your whole team to these infectious diseases and I have a lot of respect for all the people involved in doing these studies and caring for these patients when they were still alive. Although it is of course very sad that this is occurring and I am heartbroken for all the people affected, I think it is important to review the tissues from these unfortunate patients who have died. Here on the top left is a photograph from the lung of the COVID-19 patient. This structure right here is an alveolus. This right here is also an alveolus. An alveolus is like a little ball of space in which oxygen can access the body's capillaries so that the red blood cells can pick up oxygen. If you look at the picture on the bottom, this right here is one normal alveolus and here is another normal alveolus. You can see the alveolus looks empty. In life, of course, it would have oxygen. You can see there are also very small capillaries in the walls of the alveoli right here. This structure is designed so that oxygen from when you're breathing can access the red blood cells in the capillaries. You can see they have a very short pathway to access the red blood cells so that the blood can carry oxygen to the rest of the body. So let's go back to our COVID-19 patient. Here again is one alveolus and here is another alveolus. Let's first look at the walls of the alveoli. Here is the wall I'm going over with my cursor. And here is the wall down here also. You can see this wall appears swollen because it has kind of these clear spaces and it also has these lymphocytes. Lymphocytes are inflammatory cells that are trying to fight the virus. Inside the alveoli in the patient, you can see all this pink material here and here. In life, this pink material is fluid and it makes it very difficult for the oxygen to get to the capillaries and to the red blood cells. There's also a lot of lymphocytes in that fluid. You can see lymphocytes here and here. Again, these lymphocytes are trying to fight the viral infection. With all this fluid, you can see the oxygen will have a difficult time getting to the red blood cells in the capillaries. The reason this fluid is a problem, for example, when you have a cold, sometimes you have a lot of fluid running out of your nose. You can blow your nose and you'll feel better and get that fluid out of your nose. However, in the lungs, it is really hard to get that fluid out. And if that fluid builds up fast enough, a patient will not be able to get oxygen into their red blood cells and they will, of course, die. So again, you can see when I compare the alveoli on the top left from the COVID-19 patient right here and right here to our healthy alveoli at the bottom right here and right here, you can see that the alveoli are filled with fluid. The patient's lung appearance is that of viral pneumonia due to COVID-19. Here on the right is another photograph of the lung. This one also has a lot of inflammatory cells in the capillary. In addition, it has this thick pink material. This thick pink material is what happens when the fluid kind of condenses. The picture on the right is what we call a later appearance of a viral pneumonia. It also is problematic because again, this pink material makes it more difficult for the oxygen to get to the red blood cells in the capillary. This is a major finding and the viral pneumonia due to COVID-19 is the cause of death. 
This is a photograph of the liver from this patient. This liver has very mild inflammation. You can see there are a few lymphocytes right here and right here in the sinuses of the hepatocytes. This inflammation is very mild and is likely also due to COVID-19, but because it's very mild, it is not considered the cause of death. This liver also demonstrates steatosis, which means the hepatocytes are accumulating fat. You can see that in this area right here. These tiny empty spaces in life would have had fat and during the processing the fat disappears and we call that steatosis. This is the picture of the heart. The heart had minimal inflammation so it does not appear to be heavily affected by the COVID-19. The cause of death in this patient is of course viral pneumonia due to COVID-19. Okay, thank you for reviewing these slides with me.